Today on the channel, we have two of the most important Star Wars characters of all time, Poe Nudo and Pax Bonkick. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. Today we've got two more of the coin collection figures out there. Two of the most famous Star Wars figures of all time, Pax Bononkick and Poe Nudo. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So we're going to keep chugging along on these credit coin collection figures is what I always call them. Uh, there's an official name for these, but I like to call them the coin collection. As we always say, the Kmart specialist. These were always at every Kmart I went to back in the day. And never picked them up then, but I guess I'm picking them up now and that's exactly what I'm doing. So let's... Do it like we do all the unboxings on the channel. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox it. Let's talk about it. Let's see where it goes from there. So we're going to start with this one to my right here. Old Poe Nudo. Never in a million years would I tell you this guy's name. Never in a million years do I remember the scene from him in the movie. But I do remember buying this at my local toy store. And I do remember unboxing this on the channel right now as we do it. So that's my history with Poe Nudo. But there he is. We got Star Wars at the top. We got his name. Always love the packaging on these. Very uh, different crazy angles and cuts to them. Just a very interesting packaging. We don't see a whole lot. Uh, everything's pretty much square or rectangle these days. So this is a little stepping out of the comfort zone. I like it. And the coin, always good. And there's no coin with this one. So I thought these were the coin cards. What am I doing? No coin. No coin. We're coinless here. So that means, unfortunately, no good coin stories with this unboxing. But there you go. Po Nudo. Uh, he's got a stand, at least. Stand. Uh, on the back, we've got the cross cell down below. we got warnings. we got a little blurb. we got a little figure shot. we got a little scene from the movie. we got the tail of the tape. we got Star Wars. we got it all. What more you need on the back of a package? Kudos, Hasbro. You guys know I love that. Poe Nudo. Let's see. He's an Aqua-delish from the planet Ando. So, he's got to be related to one of our all-time favorites in the Star Wars galaxy, old Ponda Baba. Isn't he uh, one of these guys? Isn't he an Aqualish? Didn't he get his arm cut off? Ponda Baba? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the case. Uh, status, member of the Galactic Senate. Weapon of choice. Political treason. Ooh, political treason. That's his weapon of choice. I love it. I love these tongue-in-cheek cards they have on these. They're very cool. Uh, very much tongue-in-cheek like these videos. So there it is. Characteristic, he supports the separatist movement. That dirty, rotten scoundrel. Poe Nudo. Senator Poe Nudo pledges his people's allegiance to the Confederacy of Independent Systems and joins the Separatist Council. At the end of the Clone Wars, Palpatine sends Vader to eliminate the council members when they become unnecessary to his plans. Dun, dun, dun. Some good cross-sells down below, a few good things, some coming soons. Uh, just a lot going on in this package. But let's get old Poe Nudo out. Another one of those characters that, you know, tomorrow you ask me what this guy's name is, I'm never going to remember. See you later. That's just the way it goes sometimes. What do we got here? See you later. No cross sell. See you later. There's no uh, little pamphlet thing. So they were really cheaping out a little bit here at the end. Oh, we got some of that uh, dental floss. Oh, I just broke it with my hands. Don't even need to cut it anymore. It's just so old and gross. Didn't he have a stand in here? I think I threw the stand, but we've seen a stand a million times. We've got a leg to stand on. See you later. Don't need to look at stands, but I do appreciate a stand. I think all figures should actually come with a stand. We've said that in the past. What do we got with Poe Nudo? Now, there's a little bit of the past here and a little bit of the future. We're almost like a chess piece. As we always say on the channel, much like a chess piece, and that's what he's got going on here. He does have leg mobility, but you can't move it because he's got this long robe, skirt, robe, skirt, whatever we want to call it. He's got that going on everywhere here. Uh, he does got big old massive cufflinks that go over his hand. Looks like my daughter when she tries to wear one of my like hoodies or something like that. So he's got that look going on. He does have his three fingers I uh, gotta like that. He's got three fingers and four eyes and a big husk and his head pops right off if you touch it. So what great action there is. Hopefully that goes right back on. It does. Head very easily removable on this one for you customizers. Good to know, I'm sure. 
but a pretty pretty plain robe. He's got a little like bluish grayish vest that goes over. We got the articulation at the waist. The arms are fully articulated. You got elbows, you got wrists, you got the shoulders on the ratchets. You got a lot of stuff. He can, you know, do a big, oh my gosh, rah. You can do something like that. His head is movable as well and removable. He's got some interesting stuff going on. I don't know if that's color fade on the top of his head or if the paints wore off or he has male pattern baldness. If that uh, goes into the Aqualesh people, I'm not exactly sure. So I don't know if that's a defect or that's the way it's supposed to be. But okay, uh, you guys know there's a bunch of different senators and leaders and stuff like that in the Star Wars universe action figure lines. He will fit right in there. You can put him in there with Palpatine and some of the other guys. And that's what I'll do with him. That makes sense for me, but... No weapons, no nothing, no story. I mean, this is, once again, he's going to be a senator that's going to get killed right off the bat in young Kyle's playing days. That's probably what's going to happen. But, as usual, we have to appreciate these deep cuts from Star Wars. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. But it is what it is. Now, let's turn our attention to Pax Bonk. What a name on this guy. Who who thought of Pax Bonkick? Oh, Bonk, Bonkick, I, I don't know. But there he is. He does have a coin. So he does have a coin with him. So Star Wars, Pax Bond Kick. Nice glamour shot of him right there. You got him in the package. He's got a blaster. Yep, he's got a little blaster. He looks like a young Greedo, I believe. Wasn't this like Greedo's brother or something? I don't know. We'll have to read the back and see what's going on here. We got the cross cell. We got the warnings. We got the blurb. We got the shot from the movie. This looks like a guy in a Halloween mask, really. We got the tail of the tape. And guess what? We got a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Pax Bond Kick. Let's see what's up with him. He's a Rodian, much like our boy Greedo. Uh, status Pod Racer Mechanic. Oh, need a good mechanic out there. You know, a great mechanic is great to have. You know what's even better than a great mechanic? Having a great mechanic friend. Yeah, that'll save you some money and at least diagnose your issues. Especially when you're a guy that has like 14 Jeeps. I knew a guy about 10 years ago. Uh, I'm looking in the mirror at him right now. I uh, had about 14 Jeeps back in the day. and I could have really used a friendly mechanic that could have helped me along. Uh, a lot of work. A lot of work on those Jeeps. Story for another day. Uh, instrument of choice. I love the back of these cards. They're just so tongue-in-cheek. So what's his instrument of choice? Repair tools. He loves a good repair tool. <laughs> I love it. I love this. This is great. I wish I knew who the copywriter was of this. I would send him an email, a nicely worded email, uh, just how much I like it. His his instrument of choice, repair tools, characteristics devoted to his brother. He loves his brother. What a good brother this guy is. What is your, you know, if they ask me, Kyle, what's your characteristic? They might say businessman, executive. They might say father. They might say a uh, husband. They might say dog owner. They might say action figure collector. Or they might say he's just devoted to his uh, brother, if I had a brother. No brothers for me, which is probably good. I don't know how well I would have shared my action figures with a brother. So that's one thing I never had to fight with. I had sisters, and sisters didn't care, so that was nice. But uh, we know Pax Bonkick, devoted to his brother. We'll never forget that about him. Pax and his younger brother, Trax. Pax and Trax, boy, those parents were good. Uh, the greatest brother combo of all time, outside of you and your brother. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you right there. You guys are probably the best brother team. But another good brother team out there, Zayma and Tomax, the Crimson Guard twins. Love them. Great twins. They can feel each other's pain. Oh, is there a better twin out there? Definitely not in G.I. Joe, there's not. Uh, Pax and his younger brother, Trax, are the slaves of pod racer Mars Guo and work for him as mechanics. The brothers are very close, but are separated through a series of misfortunes. Oh, it's a sad tale. Until freed from slavery by pod racer Timito Pagliais. Well, there it goes. It's a full swing blurb. We went from the saddest of sads to the highest of highs, just in that blurb. So good old Pax. Did we ever get Trax's figure? How do you have one and not the other? I don't know. Old Pax and Trax. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on here. See you later. See you later up high. We got the coin. We got a lot going on. Let's do a little plastic prison. There he is, looking only like he can look with his coin. Old Pax. I almost called him Trax. Now I'm getting confused. Can I get Trax's coins out? Can I get him out? Come on, don't break. There it is. See you later. Up high. All right, what do we got? A little coin action here. Love a good coin. Pax Bonkick Rodian. 
Star Wars 77 to 2007. Ah, oh, the Phantom Menace. So we got the coin here. And I believe if my memory serves me right, since he is such a great auto mechanic out there and he loves his brother, you take this to any O'Reilly Auto Parts in the Midwest. Only the Midwest, for whatever reason, I don't know the reasoning behind that. Maybe it works in Tatooine too. I should double check that. But any O'Reilly's Auto Parts in the Midwest, guess what? They will take a free inspection of your battery if you bring this in. Yes, you're right, your car battery. You bring that in, you slide it across the table, they'll come out and they'll check your battery, how much life you have in it. They'll do all that. So O'Reilly's, thank you for always supporting. All right, now Pax Bone Kick. Uh, family member, I wonder if he's related to Greedo anywhere along the lines. He seems to be a good Rodian, where Greedo uh, took a foul turn somewhere along the way. Very stiff arm joints that we don't get a lot of movement up, but at least it goes up and down. The wrists move around, the waist moves, the legs move up and down. We've got articulation at the knees. we got him at the foot, too. So it's a lot more than the good old Power of the Force days here. He does have a little blaster that's actually smaller than his crazy hands. That's one thing about those Rodians. they got those long, like, suction cup fingernails and those long hands on them. But I like the looks of this guy, and I guess... He will display good with my pod racing scene, or he could fit in in Jabba's Palace. He could fit in in a bar or something like that. There's a lot of uses for these guys, uh, and I got to figure all that out. Is I got a lot of work to do. If I'm going to make a February action figure video of my entire collection again like we do every year, I got so much work to do in that Star Wars room. I need like a full week of time. I just can't ever get any time off. But if I could, that's what I would do. So we'll see. Hopefully the holidays are a little bit slower. I get a couple of vacation days, and I can just work 24-7 around the clock getting things going. But we'll see. Long way to go. Short time to get there. That's what Jerry Reed told me. And also Pax Bon Kick told me that as long ago. But very cool. I like the kind of mechanic jumpsuit. I like the vest. I like that he got a different color vest from old Greedo out there. I would love to have tracks as well to go with my Pax. Maybe that's a little bit of the long game. Maybe he doesn't exist. I can't remember a tracks figure but maybe we'll have to look into it. But very solid. I would prefer this one over Pon Nudon. I already forgot his name, but I prefer this one over this one, and I'm sure most of you guys do as well. But if you don't, let me know in the comments what you think of these two. Any history with these two? Who's your favorite twins of all time? The Maguire twins? A lot of people like those Maguire twins. You guys let me know in the comments below. And then while you're here, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for another Star Wars unboxing, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.